lives in a pineapple under the sea. Spongebob Squarepants! And in yellow and porous is he. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and I'm here to review the Spongebob special, Spongebob vs. The Big One, requested by Vindictive Virus. So, this special is about when Spongebob, Patrick, Squidward, Sandy, Mr. Krabs, they're all enjoying their day at the beach, aka Goolagoon. Patrick was going all crazy surfing, he hit Sandy, and all of a sudden, all five of them fly really high and end up in some island. Of course, SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward, the three of them together just had to be in some island. All three of them, right? Mr. Krabs alone in the middle of the ocean and Sandy alone in some island where she tries to build a helicopter. SpongeBob versus the big one. Just what the hell? What the hell was the special? This special was a waste of time. It was a waste of fucking potential. And it bored me. It was such a pointless special. It could have been something great. It could have been something memorable. But no. SpongeBob vs. The Big One just sucks ass. I do gotta say, when it starts out, it's actually not too bad. It actually does get really enjoyable. There's a couple of flaws, yes, but it actually gets enjoyable. It's not until once SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward meet JKL where phew, the episode just falls apart. Now, my positives with this special, like I said, it doesn't start out too bad. It actually does get enjoyable for a while. Here and there, there are... And it is awesome to see Johnny Depp to be in the Spongebob special because Johnny Depp is a great actor. And when I heard the news he was going to be in the Spongebob special, I could not be any more happier. And it was great hearing his voice in the special, at least. I will say that, but as for his character, I'll get to that in a little bit. I did really enjoy Sandy's storyline. Her storyline was actually the most interesting. I liked how she built a helicopter just to get out of the island and try to save the others. So Sandy's part of the plot I actually found the most interesting and the most fun. And I also did love that scene with SpongeBob, Squidward, and Patrick. They're on their surfboards. There's a song called line on the tree line. I love the song. That actually did have me smiling quite a bit. Those are the only good things I could say about this special. Now, here are my flaws with this. First of all, of course, the plot that just starts it all. Patrick, he is tipping over the surfboard and he is just moving around like really quick like <laughs> And then you see Sandy surfing all of a sudden he hits them all five of them fly high They fly so high they end up in an island In reality, you're not gonna fly so high you end up in an island. You're just gonna fall down fall somewhere into the ocean, but you're not gonna fly that high. Now, I'm not, I know I'm not supposed to overthink too much, but just how all five of them ended up on an island was so stupid. And also, this is a flaw to me, and it shouldn't, but why is it that out of all five of them, it's just SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward together? Why weren't they separated? I would have loved to see all five separated. Not just Sandy alone, not just Mr. Krabs alone, and then just SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward in some island. Or they could have done this. Have Squidward alone, Mr. Krabs alone, and have SpongeBob, Patrick, and Sandy, or they could have SpongeBob, Sandy, while Patrick's out. Like, they could have done anything else but that. But no, of course, unfortunately, it just had to be the three of them together. Also, there are a couple of fucking inconsistencies with this episode that just drive me nuts. First of all, SpongeBob apparently does not know how to surf. What the fuck? We've seen him surf in the past bunch of specials. Has anyone forgotten, for example, just name one of them, Rip Pants? Yeah, we've seen him surf before, and all of a sudden he doesn't? 
Wow. Mr. Krabs' plot, another fly had with the special. It is so boring. There was no point to Mr. Krabs' plot. There is nothing funny, nothing memorable about that plot. It did not have to be there. And Ari made the special itself more boring than it already is. The Flying Dutchman happens to appear out of nowhere with his groceries. He sees Mr. Krabs in his beard. Mr. Krabs is like, ah, oh, it's the Flying Dutchman. And the Flying Dutchman says, ah, oh, it's some guy I've never seen before. Um, hello? It's called Born Again Krabs? You know, the one we wanted to take Mr. Krabs' soul, that episode? Okay, unless he didn't recognize Mr. Krabs because he was in that uh, beard, okay, I could forgive the special for that. But I mean, when you hear the voice, uh, the fine Dutchman should already know who he is. I guess I'll let that slide, sort of, but it still really bugged me. Jack Kahuna Laguna. He is so pointless. He did not have to be in the special, and poor Johnny Depp. Such a talent. Really wasted in this special. Most of his lines is, just keep breathing. And then he doesn't really say more lines until one SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward have to go out there and surf on this wave called the Big One. And the special is called SpongeBob versus the Big One. Yet... They don't talk about the big one, and we don't see the big one until like the final few minutes. It was just so pointless to even meet the character Jack Kahuna Laguna in the first place. We did not have to meet the character, period. What was the point in even having him in the special? Was he just here so we could hear Johnny Depp? Because that's how I most certainly see it. We never had to see the character. There was no point to the character. He didn't teach SpongeBob Patrick or Squidward shit. Squidward realizes that, but Spongebob and Patrick, they're so stupid. Apparently, looking at the fire all night long is gonna make you great surfers. What the fuck? Oh, shit. And then the storyline as a whole is just so boring. Like I said, Mr. Krabs' plot is boring. Once they serve the big one at this point, I just don't care. Also, J.K.L. apparently tells them that one of them is not going to return. Well, what happened? One of them was supposed to not make it, yet everyone made it back just fine. And then the episode ends with a nice big old dance party and all of a sudden J.K.L. is back. Just, wow. So overall, Spongebob vs. The Big One. It is a wasted special. It is a waste of time. It did not need to exist. They had a potential for a good special. They really did, but it was just dull and pointless. So, SpongeBob versus the big one gets a 4.5 out of 10. Whew, what a waste of a special. Now Furry Mess is going to give you his own thoughts on this episode. This is more like a written review on a video, so I'll basically just read to you what Furry Mess has to say. So, here it goes. Okay, I'm a huge fan of SpongeBob, but this episode sucked. Maybe it's because I'm not a surfer, but if you are a surfer and love SpongeBob, you would eat this up. This episode begins pretty solid. The rest, however, the rest is sloppy at best and jarring at worst. The main plot I actually liked. It had a lot of funny gags as until the surfer gang came along. These guys ruin the main plot and are only there to introduce J.K.L. played by Johnny Depp, who for the record should not be in this episode. But for the record, Johnny Depp and Spongebob would be awesome. I mean, my favorite actor, my favorite cartoon, who doesn't want that? He just should have been given a better script and does a pretty good job with his performance. On the topic, J.K.L. Larry does nothing in his whole entire episode except for the ending. Spongebob had a square learn how to surf from him. WTF. I get that's a joke, but it doesn't work, especially when it's relevant to the plot. There's a Sandy subplot that's honestly pretty dang cool. Too bad it's all, it only lasts for five minutes. And there is a Mr. Crab subplot that is pity. That's the first Spongebob subplot that was actually pity. This episode is a record breaker. In this case, that's not a good thing. And all. At all. I personally think Squidward should have got a subplot. It could have been really funny and clever. Well, that's my opinion of the episode. Don't forget that Twenty to Tiger and I will always have... Taga Power! Have a toontastic day. 2.5 out of 5 cream pie. Thank you very much for your thoughts, Furry Menace. And as for everyone else, thanks for watching.
I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power. 